If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. Hey, welcome everybody to Larry's Fountain Pens Review. I'm Larry, I'm your host, and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Hey, if you're new to my website and you haven't subscribed, now's the time to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bitty bell. So when I post a review, it's going to ding you, remind you, say, hey, Larry just posted a review or whatever. So here's a brand new pen that I've never heard of. It's going to be a very interesting review. I'm going to tell you what I honestly like about this pen and what I don't like about the pen. But to be honest with you, to me it's going to be very interesting. Why? Well, I think as I do the review, you'll find this to be interesting one way or the other. So let's take a look down here. And it comes from Webson Gill, which I've never ever heard of. I've looked up their sites to try to find all the information I can. So what I give you is what I have found. And I am going to go by the information that's on their website about this pen. So, it does come in a nice cardboard sleeve with uh, the gold that goes really nice with the black. It's just a nice sleeve and this pops right out. Then, a great, beautiful presentation by Webson Gill. A leatherette pin case with the logo here on top and the name nicely done on the top of the pin case let's open it up bam here's a little card that comes inside that has the initials here reminds me of a like a, a brick a gold brick uh, it's a gift voucher for $25 off uh, from the Webson Gill family uh, a gift for a friend. All right. In the bank, it says thank you for joining the Webson Gill family. For directions on how to use your writing instrument, please visit WebsonGill.com slash instructions. So there. That's uh, interesting. I'll put that right up. So, there it is again. And here is the pen. And inside it's safe and secure. A nice kind of a lure type background with the, the name. In the back of the inside of the pen case. So, let's get the pen out. It's in there tight. And we'll put this back up. There are no ink cartridges with it. So, there's that. Okay. And let me get me a pen sleeve if you don't mind. And I'm going to use the Christmas one. Get in the Christmas spirit. Uh, Charlie Brown sounds pretty good to me. Ta-da! So here is the pen. Wow. Okay, I'll start off, and Mr. Announcer will help me. He'll be joining in. We're going to do a tag team on this one. Our story. How a fine craftsmanship and tradition came to become Webson Gill Fine Writing. And you'll find all this information I'm reading on their website. And it's going to say who we are, Mr. Announcer. Crafted with the utmost attention to detail, each Webson is handmade 
to provide you with a unique feel that doesn't exist anywhere else. Once you try a Webson, it is difficult to go back. It's the pen that will ruin other pens for you. We aim to make our forefathers proud with the ongoing design that was inspired through their roots. Wow, now that was some big choice of words there. Uh, so as we go down, it says our approach, Mr. Announcer. Our approach is different from traditional retailers. Webson Gill was built to deliver exceptional fountain pens at a fair price. By cutting out the middleman, we bypass costs like wholesaling, storefronts, and designer licensing fees that have no bearing on quality. And we pass the savings and quality on to you. Okay. And as we go down, a rotting device is the link from infamy to conception. Webson. Then it goes down to company. Webson Gill is a growing direct-to-consumer brand that makes high-quality writing instruments that are built to last. With an ongoing customer relationship and direct distribution, Webson is creating pins that you will never want to put down. The craftsmanship that goes into creating each fountain pen is second to none. Then it says, get your own Webson Gill today. So, we go down and it shows a different pen. They have two pens that you can choose from. They have the Webson Gill Captain Edition, which is right now $112. And then they have this pen. And this is the Webson Gill Prestige Fountain Pen, which is $115. Now, now, it also says that for Black Friday, this pen will be on sale for $75. Now, have we passed Black Friday or is that the upcoming? That's upcoming. So, remember, 75 bucks. So, Mr. Announcer, read about the Webson Gill Prestigious Fountain Pen. The Webson Gill Prestige is hand-built with care. The addition of the durable clip and cap post and redesign, along with the hybrid of German and Japanese design, make this fountain pen unique. Each pen comes with a fine nib that writes with smooth strokes, as well as a piston converter for use with bottled ink or cartridge ink. So again, we got here a hybrid of German and Japanese design. And they're saying this is what makes this fountain pen so unique and the pins come with one nib size remember fine that's it and it also says writes with smooth strokes and it does come with a converter so you use your own bottle link because they do not furnish the cartridges okay mr announcer let's go ahead and read to all the viewers the description that's given about this fountain pen. Solid feel, but not heavy, not to allow for very smooth writing. Smooth ink flow. Our nib is optimized to bring the best ink flow. Right there. Stop for a minute. Okay. Remember, it's all about what's under the hood. All about the heart of the fountain pen, the nib. So I'm anxious to see that in action. Go ahead. Fine nib, sized at 0.7 millimeters. Authenticity, true Webson Gill fountain pen can be passed on for generations. All right, so that's what we have there. Now, let's talk about the material of the pen. Wood barrel, and they have oak. The barrel is made out of oak, and it's lightly stained. And the cap has a high shine, as well as the trim. Okay. And the famous WG Engineering. On top of the finial, you'll, you'll see the initials for Webson Gill, the WG. And it says that the ergonomics balance optimized to avoid hand fatigue and creates 
a purposeful ink lane. So I'm reading you everything that I have found on their website. And I have looked all over the internet. So here's the pen. The Hybrid German and Japanese nib. Which we'll get to in a minute. Now they said that uh, we only produce a small amount of each Webson Gill, making each pen very valuable to collectors. Okay. So right now, let's go on the measurements of this pen. As you see, the pen here closed is 5.96 inches. You unscrew the cap, and at the end of the barrel, you can attach it by screwing it back on the cap and it's not going anywhere it's there locked in place now the cap does line up directly with the nib that's cool so that will bring this length up to 7.42 inches in length so as we go down the barrel there's a slight step off that's really not sharp. If you rub your fingers upwards, you'll find it a, a bit uncomfortable, but that's just me. Uh, it's not going to be difficult to use this pen because it has a large grip section. Now down here, you'll see where the cap screws on to the section down here. So if you have large fingers, this will accommodate small, medium, large, extra large. That will do that. So that's cool. Uh, looks like a brass, brass section. Uh, does it feel slippy? No. Um, not really. It's not a small nib. And let me get my looking glass. Now, this is what they're calling the German-Japanese nib, hybrid nib. Isn't that right, Mr. Announcer, I think? Yes. Said? Okay. And it has the WG initial on the nib. It's a rhodium, German, Germany, basic nib. I've seen many of these before. And then there's the feed. So... If you post the pen, look how large that would be when you're writing. It would look a little strange, odd. But if you're one of those people that post pens, there you go. So, and it is balancing nicely, like I have it here. The weight of the cap is 21.9 Gs. The total weight of the pen is going to be 43.4 G's, okay? On the, the cap, the cap is a nice looking cap, I give it that. And you see the name nicely embedded in the clip. All right, let's check out the clip. That's really a tough clip. I can't move it. So let's see how it fits on a shirt. Well, okay. Maybe this one is not going. Let's try the inside. There. Now it went. It's on there. It's not going to go anywhere, but I couldn't get it on the outside of the shirt. Maybe because it's new. But, you know, it, it's tight. It has no giveaway there at all. So maybe uh, if your shirt is thinner, it will fit, slide in much easier. But on the neck, it's thicker. So that may be the problem that's causing the clip. 
not to go in as easy and smooth if you had a thin uh, shirt, a pocket, but it does hold securely. So you got an old barrel here. This is the pin. Nice looking clip. That is not going to pull. And I'm using a lot of force. There's no give in the clip. But if you have a thin shirt. It's going to slide on there with no problem, and it's going to be secured. I do like, I'm going to call this brass, but now I'm not even sure if that's brass. I've been looking for all the information on this pen, and what you've heard is what I've told you, which is directly from Webs and Gill's website. And as you go down the barrel, the end of the barrel is where it sticks out so you can post your pin, you screw the cap section on to the end of the barrel. I really don't like that as much. I, it just kind of sticks out too far. And that's just me. Uh, some people like it. It has uh, gotten really some great reviews. People really love this pen. It's not a bad looking pen. The weight again, 43.4 grams. That's up there. So let's open the pen up and look inside. It comes with your basic converter. You see these every day. Pull out. Push in. Very small nib. So, there you have it. Now, if you want to order any of their cartridges, well, let me pull that up and read it to you and give you a price for Webson Gill Premium Black Ink. 50 bucks for a one-time purchase. But if you subscribe and save, you can save 40%. It'll cost you 30 bucks and they they will be delivered every 30 days. So, and how does the subscription work? Well, the products are automatically delivered on your schedule. No obligation, modified, or cancel your subscription at any time. Okay. So, now the black ink... And don't forget, they do have the Webson Gill Captain Edition. Uh, terms and condition. I wanted to read one on their website. Guaranteed for 100 years, I read somewhere on their website. You can return these pins, no question asked. Uh, so you have the website that I mentioned and I'll put the website down below so if you're interested you can go right into the website uh, I think that's about All I can really say, um, I'm trying to find K 
can I return my product? That's what I wanted to find. We always aim for our to uh, make sure that our customers love our products. But if you do need to return an order, we are happy to help. Just email us directly and we will take you through the process. Okay. Then it even has a little place on the website where you can take uh, an ink quiz and then uh, you just follow the uh, instructions and uh, it will tell you how much or how many cartridges you need per month, blah, blah, blah. So I've never ever heard of these folks before. You can find them on Facebook, uh, where on the internet. On, you just internet it. Uh, uh, yeah, they have a website. We'll put the link in. So, I mean, they have a, a, a really lot of great reviews on this pen. Um, now, it says, design-wise, I'm a big fan of KISS. And you have applied it perfectly. I can compare the pen to a wide range of things I admired for simplicity and performing their functions. From the simple paper clip to the crown guard, and it goes on and on. But it just has given four stars on and on for just great reviews on this fountain pen. People really seem to love this fountain pen. So... The next step I want to do is I want to ink up the pen and I'm going to do some writing on my uh, endless recorder and see how well the pen does write. I'm expecting big things from this nib because it says that it is a nice nib. So with that said, I am so ready. Let's get everything ready and we can go on a ride and journey. I'm going to use a brand new ink from Fountain Pen Revolution. It's called Cinnamon. I thought that would be a great color for this pen. It has an oak barrel made out of all wood. It says the barrel. No, you can't use this pen as an eyedropper. And I'll do a pin comparison here at the very end. Now, you can write with this pen perfectly unposted. Even if you have large, chunky hands, you have a long enough barrel to accommodate any size hands, in my opinion. But I'm very interested in this nib because I see these types of nibs in a lot of uh, other pens. So, let's go with the writing. And here we go. Okay. Do some swirls here. Now we'll check for wetness. 
and you have a wet knit, smooth knit. Down stroke, cross stroke. Now let's see, did we get any line variation? That's with pressure, without pressure. With pressure, without, without, and with. Now let's see if we can get a little bit of line variation here. Down stroke. Uh, this is no pressure at all, so you can get a little bit of line variation, but not much. It's not meant to flex at all. Reverse writing. And it does ride very nicely on reverse riding. Fast riding. It does lay out down the ink. Wet nip. I like all that. That's nice. Well, there you have it. So, what's your thoughts on this pin? Well, before we go, we still need to do a pin comparison. Let me show you one of Mr. Announcer's pins. And here is his pin. It's a Celt, what, Celt? A Celtic design wood turn. Here's another one. And the wood is about the same, wouldn't you say? Very close, yes. Yeah. And uh, the difference with this, I like this, what they call it, Celtic? Celtic, Celtic design. Okay, yeah, and that looks really cool on it. And the clip, I like the designs in that one. Now, this is a cool looking clip. So, they're about the same length. And, of course, this one as well. This just comes off, and that just magnet for that one right there. So that would be a little bit long. Same thing for this one magnet. You screw on. So hang with me for a minute. Let's use the Birmingham pin Beetlejuice. Beautiful pin by Birmingham. The Webson Gill is a little bit longer in length, but... The Birmingham Beetlejuice has more girth to it, and I like the size of this pin a lot. So, I hope you found this review interesting, helpful. Again, uh, this is the first time I ever heard of the company. Uh, just check out the website. Everything I told you about this pen comes directly from their website. So the question is, one, and leave your comments below. What do you think about the pen? Do you like the design, the look? What do you think about the nib? The material used for the pen? And the price of the pen? It's your dollars. So, I believe that's all I've got to say. I think I've said enough for today. Until my next review, be safe. And again, thank you to Webson Gill for sending me this pen for review. So, stay safe, my friends. Wash those hands. A lot of peace and a lot of love coming your way, my friends. And as always, please, don't text and drive. Bye-bye.